Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Although wireless communication systems have achieved remarkable success, they are currently encountered various uh, challenges and limitations which can potentially affect their performance, reliability, and uh, efficiency. To tackle these challenges, it is necessary to continuously conduct research, make technological progress, and create uh, inventive solutions. In this unit and the following unit, we aim to tackle the most uh, significant uh, obstacles in uh, wireless communication. Today, we will discuss about uh, some five fundamental challenges. Firstly, first challenge is multi-path propagation limitation imposed on uh, wireless communication system. In second challenge, we will discuss about uh, limitation of the spectrum. And uh, third channel, we will discuss about third challenge we will discuss about uh, intersymbol interferences. And uh, fourth challenge, we will discuss about uh, mobility and handover. And finally, we will discuss about uh, signal attenuation challenges. Most important challenge is multipath wireless communication uh, challenge, which poses a serious limitation by causing uh, signal fading and fluctuation in uh, signal strength due to the constructive and uh, destructive interferences of a uh, multi-point, uh, yeah, multiple signal path. The presence of uh, multi-path propagation can lead to the intersymbol interferences, which delay version of the transmitted signal overlap with the neighboring symbol, making it a challenge to accurately decode the received information. Multi-path propagation is particularly problematic uh, in uh, indoor environment or even urban areas, it is very serious issue with the numerous obstacles and reflecting of surfaces such as mountain, high-rise building, which significantly increase the number of the signal path. High-speed data transmission can be particularly affected by multipath limitation as a rapid change in the transformed uh, yeah, transmitted uh, signal can lead to more severe ISI and uh, signal degradation. The limitation imposed by the multipath propagation call for the use of uh, advanced signal processing techniques such as uh, adoptive equalization and uh, diversity combining to mitigate the effect of uh, multipath uh, references. Multipath limitation can impact the coverage area and uh, reliability of uh, wireless network as the signal quality may vary significantly in different location due to varying multi-path conditions. The design and placement of antenna can also play a very crucial role uh, in designing a multi-path uh, limitation uh, as a directional antenna or, or uh, diversity schemes can help uh, mitigate the effect of uh, multi-path interferences. Ongoing research and uh, advancement uh, in wireless communication technologies such as uh, beamforming and advanced modulation schemes are aimed to overcome the limitation of limitation imposed by the multipath propagation and uh, can improve the overall performance of uh, wireless communication system. Another important challenge is the spectrum limitation in wireless communication which refer to the scars of availability of uh, radio frequency spectrum, which limits the number of the frequency bandwidth that can be allocated for wireless services and applications. The increasing demand for wireless services such as mobile data, IoT services, uh, and uh, wireless network has led to the strain on the availability spectrum's uh, resources. The spectrum limitation can result in congestion and interference in a wireless network, leading to decreased data rates, uh, degrade quality of services, and uh, reduce some coverage. The fixed allocation of a spectrum band to specific services and application can restrict the flexibility and uh, adoptability of a wireless communication network to evolving demands. The limited spectrum availability poses some serious challenges 
in accommodating the growing number of uh, wireless devices and applications, potentially hinder the deployment of uh, new technology and uh, services. Efficient spectrum management techniques such as spectrum sharing, spectrum reforming, and uh, dynamic spectrum assays are employed to optimize spectrum utilization and alleviate spectrum limitation. A spectrum auction conducted by the regulatory bodies are also important to allow entities to bid for and required spectrum licensing enables more efficient allocation of limited spectrum resources. Advanced wireless technologies such as cognitive radios and spectrum sensing enables uh, opportunities use of underutilized spectrum bands, improving uh, spectrum efficiency. Spectrum harmonization assess uh, different countries or region facilitates global interoperability and reduces uh, fragmentation, maximizing the utilization of uh, limited spectrum resources, uh, ongoing research uh, and uh, development effect focus on exploring new approaches such as uh, spectrum sharing uh, policies, spectrum uh, sharing databases, and spectrum efficient uh, limitation, technologies based limitations. And they can solve the problem of uh, spectrum limitation and meet the evolving need of uh, wireless communications. Simple interferences is another challenge which arises in communication system due to spreading of a signal in time and causing overlapping and distortion of the symbol at the receiver. ISI can occur in various types of channels, including wireless channel, optical fiber optics, and multipath propagation environment. Victor symbol interferences is particularly problematic in a high speed data transmission system where the symbols are closely packed and uh, leading to a highly uh, overlapping and interferences chances. The duration of ISI depends on the channel characteristic, symbol rate, and the shape of the transmitted pulse. ISI can cause serious error in symbol detection, leading to the degradation in bit error rate and uh, also degrade the overall system performance. Equalization is one of the most common techniques used to combat ISI by applying appropriate filtering or uh, advanced signal processing to compensate for the channel distortion. Linear equalization technique is another important technique which uh, such as uh, zero forcing equalization and uh, minimum mean square error equalization are often applied to mitigate the effect of ISI. Decision feedback equalization is another appropriate approaches that uh, utilize feedback from previously tracked symbol to cancel out the interference caused by the ISI. Advanced modulation scheme such as TCM and uh, OFDM, orthogonal frequency division multiplexing and uh, tunnel-less coded modulation TCM are designed to combat ISI and improve the resilience of the wireless communication system. Proper channel, channel coding and uh, interleaving techniques can also help to solve the problem of ISI by introducing uh, some redundancy and uh, spreading the symbol in time to minimize the impact of interferences. Mobility challenges uh, arises when a mobile device move within a wireless network, and uh, which cause some fluctuation in uh, signal strength, uh, uh, signal quality, as well as some coverage. Handover, which is also known as handoff, is the process of transferring an ongoing call or data session from one base station or access point to another base station or access point as a mobile device moves. Seamless handover is very crucial to maintain uninterrupted communication during mobility, but it poses several 
technical complexities. Federal latency is a really a significant challenge as it introduces a delay during the transition, which may lead to service disruption or even dropping of a call. Different wireless technologies such as 3G, 4G, 5G employ various handover mechanisms to ensure a smooth transition between cells or uh, access point. Interference from neighboring cell or uh, access point can impact handover performance, require careful coordination and interference management techniques. Handover decision algorithms play a critical role in uh, determining the optical, optimal timing and uh, target uh, base station for handover. Considering uh, factors such as signal strength, quality, and load balancing. In heterogeneous network, where uh, multiple access points exist at the same time, inter-technology handover process poses some additional challenges due to difference in coverage, bandwidth, and even protocol compatibility. Handover between different network types such as Wi-Fi to cellular or from cellular to Wi-Fi requires seamless integration and authentication mechanism to maintain connectivity. Ongoing research focus on advanced handover technique, including a proactive handover, context aware handover, and vertical handover to improve the overall mobility management and enhance the user experiences in wireless communication systems. Signal activation occurs in various communication systems such as wired network, wireless transmission, and uh, optical fiber due to the natural loss of uh, signal power. The primary cause of uh, signal activation is the spreading of energy over a large area as it travels, resulting in the decrease in the signal power as well as the strength. Attenuation can be influenced by many factors such as distance, environmental condition, interferences, and even the properties of the transmission medium itself. In wireless communication, signal attenuation is typically more pronounced over a longer distance, especially in a free space where the signal energy is spread out in all directions. Different materials such as walls, building, and vegetation can cause significant signal attenuation when the signal passes through or interact all of these materials. Attenuation can degrade signal quality, leading to increase bit error rates, reduce data rates, and decrease signal to noise ratio. To compensate for signal attenuation, signal Amplification techniques such as repeaters are used to boost the signal strength at regular interval in long distance communication system. Signal attenuation is very crucial consideration in the design of efficient communication network and similarly implementation of the communication network also and careful planning is necessary to mitigate its effect and ensure highly reliable signal transmission.